Greetings everyone, it's Secret Grant here, and this is the ninth video of 2023, and well, you read the title, and the, t uh, well, you pretty much read the title of the video, and it's, um, in its thumbnail, you know what's to come in the near future. Well, for me personally, I do not know exactly what's to come, but I do know this, May 2023 will be the month, well, mostly the latter half of the month is when I will finally re release... The last of the quick reviews related to the City Skies World Tour, The Last Stops. On March 22nd, um, 2023, they've released it, um, six new additions to the game since, you know, City Skies, the whole, um, both PC and consoles, it's reaching its end cycle in terms of post-launch support. Um, what was released back in March of 2023 was the creator packs of Africa and Miniature, um, well, oh yeah, sports venues and the shopping malls DLC, along with the respective radio stations, the Just Another Day in Africa, uh, what else, oh yeah, 80s movie tunes, and the pop punk radio stations. Those six new additions, along with the free update ready to do uh, the transports that are already in existing games. But, what I'm actually here to discuss was the fact that mid-23 is the finish line related to the same skies in terms of post-launch content. For me personally, and the reason that I decided to have those released in the latter half, mostly the third or fourth week of May, but that depends on whatever information we get regarding um, the end cycle itself. Because to be honest for me, I do not know where it's actually going on. So possibly, because it did state it quite at the end of that um, trailer that the Vacations Mini Expansion DC will get more details as we go into May. So that's most likely since that's literally the last thing from the game before we move on to see the Skylines 2. But me personally, I am pretty much at the upper of the end goal here. Because I don't know what's to come for the summer of 23 to be honest with you because have been these last quick reviews are pretty much on my current step so to um you know get things ticked up you may have figured it out that i took april 2023 off from the gaming channel to try to prepare for these reviews entirely but just to make up for it by the time you're seeing this video i've already gotten the mercedes maybach s680 uh footage from the be unbound ready pretty much already on the channel to set the premiere dates in early may of this year and that's pretty much how I felt about it. So, obviously enough that I was pretty much been busy. And the fact is that it's it's basically um, kind of going like, here's how it goes. Me personally, my last uh, major video that was on the whole how I paused my second um, channel because video is because the fact is that I've pretty much been working non-stop. I worked non-stop. I barely had any time to busy pop out the video. So I'm hoping for this occasion you can all excuse the fact is that pretty much I have been working double nothing. But thankfully by the by the time Memorial Day comes around, I will have a transition up here because so far having pretty much um going from March to April and then April to May it's pretty much a back-to-back -back kind of situation when I did not have a transition period to rest out and do other things, but instead I have to keep going and going and going and going, and I'm like, no, 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 I need that transition period to basically back off, to, you know, take some time away and uh, do other things. But another thing to point out is that I haven't really played Eats Be Unbound in the weeks following um, the whole, you know, Volume 2 update after, you know, because I already had the footage for the, already got the footage, it's just I haven't played, you know, Unbound since, you know, the Bazooka gift for the Fairly Z and the Bound Main edition of the Lois and Mira and the S680 itself was released to the public back in March, so you guys kind of figure out that I have not been playing that much, and actually been playing that much on the PS5 in general, because I was mostly on the PS4, you know, doing videos. I'm hoping that, and speaking of PS4, I'm hoping that the Xenoverse 2 DLC is extinct because, funny enough, uh, back in December, I did receive a $25 PSN card from my, one of my cousins, and thankfully that $50 was, was, went towards to pay for the Financial Districts DLC, well, bundled, because that included the second map pack and the African Vibes radio station. I did that video, um, and you just got to check it out on the second channel. But, in short term, well, to put it shortly, 
after that video I was only down by ten dollars I was only you know have ten dollars left so the ten dollars that are in my PlayStation Network wallet will most likely go towards DLC 16 of Cedarverse 2 which will cover the Dragon Ball Super Serial Hero story but you know you know don't know what's gonna happen to that but we do know is that Orange Piccolo Piccolo's Power of Awakening and B Skull Hunter gonna be DLCs along with the story mode parallel quests etc etc but yeah that's how it goes personally because that's how it is because I'm hoping that if it comes out in May I don't know when it'll come out but we do know spring 2023 is the correct release date for this DLC so I don't know when it'll come out because it will come out the next two weeks or during May or I don't know because June um, the latter half of June is when summer really kicks off, so, yeah, pretty much Dimps and Bondi are pretty much on the time, on the, on, the, on, the, on the clock, they gotta get this out, because, you know, because funny enough, when we were, when we got the free update on March, um, I think 23rd, yeah, March 23rd, we got that update, we thought, okay, the DLC's gonna come up with it, no, it's the first time that, uh, that a DLC is not being released alongside a free update. We just got the fear different state with the Awoken Scale Beast. And if you saw my seventh major video on this channel, I've already done the video um, to explain how Beast is pretty much the new thing in terms of Awoken Skills. That is the first Awoken Skill that pretty much everybody can get the access to. It's just amazing that after nearly six years, that pretty much the Majins, the Mechians, Freezers, Rage, and Earthlings finally got a skill that they can work with. And the fact that, yes, the fact that meaning that step, for example, me um, personally, when I play Xenoverse 2, I play with the uh, mostly same base um, characters with um, CACs. I never touched it. If I touch a Majin or a Megan, it'll most likely put a potential unleash. But now that we got a new skill, I can now change it up a bit and add some new things new to the table. But I will have to keep an eye out for it for when DLC 16 gets released. But if you're watching this video in the future, then the DLC is already released and blah 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 blah. And, to be told, I was pretty much, um, awaiting this DLC, I suppose, because, you know, I still have the $10 for it, so I'm hoping the $10 will be worth the, worth the money spent just to get access to one pack. So, I will have to go ahead and check back, and I'm, I'm hoping to check back, I'll be um, recording this video, check back to see if the $10 is still there, meaning that it'll, that's where the $10 will go to get the DLC 16, and that's pretty much it, and for City Skylines, I'm hoping to, you know, jump back in, because me currently, I haven't played City Skylines, because after, um, they did a console hotfix on, you know, the missing pocket and assets, um, two, I mean, four of the new road types they added in are still have the texture, have the, the, the textures glitched, and I'm still waiting for a patch to get that patched out, because it didn't look nothing like how it was in the in the promos, so I'm hoping that by the time we're finally getting more information related to the Vacations Mini DLCs, um, um, Industrial Revolution, Railroads to Japan, um, Brooklyn's and Queens creator packs, and the two radio stations, 90s Pop and Piano Tunes. We hope we get more information and possibly another patch that pretty much addresses all the things, because I'm noticing on the forums that, um, one thing they did address was pretty much everything. For example, in act in the remastered versions, you can, because the saves are pretty much botched. So we're hoping for another update to the game, because, you know, they, they confirmed that all the DLCs that are from 2022 to this very, to pretty much May 2023, are, will be in the PS5 and Xbox Series X version in the summer. It'll all be updated, so if you manage to get the remastered version for free, all you have to do is have a a uh, copy of the PS4 and Xbox One version, meaning you get those for free, and if you have all the DLCs, you also get those for free. So that's pretty much a win or win scenario. But without further ado, this is your boy SC Grant, and this is the overall ninth video because things are gonna shift gears as we go into May of 2023. So expect some some changes, not all, some changes to how I work with these long videos around again. So. Yeah, next major video will be cut in half. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care now. Take care now. <laughs> see you guys next time.